loving this. Yeah, it, it, it was not. It was not doing what it was doing for me. I, I was gonna live in. What's going on, sister? Living. How you doing? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I feel amazing. I'm so happy that we're doing this. I'm happy too, a little bit. Really? Why? Um. Well, I'm happy because I definitely miss you. That's one. What? I kind of miss you. You ended up coming to Vegas and we didn't link up. Um, I was really, really busy. It was my fault. Um, wait, can you know? wait? Can you say the other part again? Just say it. Just say it again. The I'm sorry part, or that we were supposed to link up. Oh! Really, really busy. <laughs> wait, because <laughs> you said you, did you just tell me that you're sorry? <laughs> okay, okay, don't 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 push it. Don't I'm push having it. fun. I'm having fun. No, it was really the I miss you part. But if you want to add the I'm sorry to, look, we can add that in there. Too. Yeah, I'll add the I'm sorry part to it because you you did reach out to me, and I want to apologize because I had broke my leg when we we're supposed to go to um, Mexico, and I didn't show up, and I wasn't able to go, and I really wanted to be there, so I'm actually sorry that I didn't make your show and stuff like that. And I wish I was there because girl, it would have been groundbreaking. Shout out to you. You created, produced your own show. You did your shit. Um, you definitely went back and reached out to a couple of girls, gave them an opportunity to come and, you know, give their cameo time and be a part of your, your, you know. So, you know, kudos to you. I'm, I'm proud of you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Especially um, a bitch that was trying to tase you. Ryan, you know. But since you brought it up, let's 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 park the card there right fast what do you remember about the early phone calls when i called you about this idea that i was pulling together and y'all um, everything we said tonight we did not rehearse the, oh, us going live tonight was really birthed out of him asking me to come on his bego and be messy with that bullshit. and i'm like bitch i'm always coming to your bego giving you motherfucking content okay you didn't have mm -hmm. an ex over here with all this fucking shit, and now you mm -hmm. got me over here with this madison shit. you finna, you finna bring your ass over here and we mm -hmm. finna we finna do something too so none of mm -hmm. this that we say is rehearsed at all. But going back to my question, what do you remember about me calling you, telling you about the trip and the show? Actually, to be early honest on, you, actually, to be honest with you, it was supposed to be. Um, I didn't know about everybody that was supposed to be there. I remember you said Lauren was coming. You said Q was coming. Um, it was supposed to be like a power three duo. And then I was going to show up towards the end. So all these other people that, that have made the show, shout out to them. But I didn't know about them. You were just telling me, like, you know, an opportunity to meet your fans and, you know, collectively, you know, come back and regroup and, you know, see each other again, finish some, you know, unsolved situations. Me and Lauren definitely moved on. So it would have been my first time seeing Lauren as Lauren and not Jaylon. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did tell her she was going to be Lauren. Hello? You did. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it was gonna be our first time seeing Lauren. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, me and Q, we don't speak. I don't know where you and Q relationship ended up, you know, but we don't speak. Yeah, girl, she a fake ass bitch. Hello. Oh my god, but don't do that. Don't do what? Tell the truth. Go ahead, tell it, tell your truth. Okay, I'm just saying. So we we're supposed to meet up with her. It was gonna be like a you know, a big old kumbaya. We we're gonna hash it out with her and things of that nature, and then I didn't show up, Lauren didn't show up, Q didn't show up. So, but go ahead. Um, I'm a, I'm just gonna add on add on to what you said. As I said in the past, um, it was originally just supposed to be a show about the power of three, right? Mm -hmm. That was the original premise. It was supposed to be the three of us getting together. And so I told them, I was like, I don't think the three of us just with ourselves is going to be entertaining. Like, I don't find that entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, and I was the one who was coming with, like, the, the money to film it, the production, the trip. So I was kind of, like, spearheading it, even though I was trying to, you know, make it like a three-way, a mm -hmm. menage type thing where we all, which we did, we all had different things we were all responsible for and to contributing for the show. Anyways, I was like, y'all, why don't we get different people who were, like, our enemies on the show that like mm -hmm. to the people it looks like we haven't had no like no resolve so it was supposed to be me and um me and we were born was supposed to be like my my parent um lauren was it was you and lauren y'all's parent and then devon and q was supposed to be paired up and then like it was just gonna be all you know all of us whatever whatever anyways mm -hmm. it ended up not working and then we had to change it to in the mix with twigs and you know just 
salvage it. But yes, bitch, you were supposed to come, and I was so mad you didn't come. Yeah, because you were you had invited Devon and um I tried to invite yeah Devon and Bambi, and I think Bambi ended up telling her that Who's we're Bambi? not Dewan. Oh. Um, he Dewan ended up saying how he wasn't gonna go on the show. He done gave y'all too much ample opportunities when it comes to his relationship. They're in a good place, allegedly. So he wasn't gonna, you know, let Devon go and you know conjure up all that mess again to bring back home. I mean, which is smart. I mean, you know, protect your love, you know. <laughs> so this is what I remember about us falling out. So we had got cool again, right? We was back on the same page. We had went to Madison's house. Remember, I had came and got you up out of the bed because she wanted you on the Queen Supreme Court, bitch. And I was like blowing you up because you really, because at the time you really wanted to be on the Queen Supreme Court. And I was like, bitch, her and Craig called me. They looking for you, girl. And I remember I ain't had that no was a really big moment for me. Like to you get that call and to get that opportunity, it was a really big thing for me. And no shade, I ate that motherfucker show up. Bitch, you no did an amazing fuck, job. No shade to fucking Donnie, no shade to motherfucking um, what's her name? Okay, um, here she go, Miss Sophia. So Sophia, again, that show had the highest ratings. Girl, here she go. That show oh. had the highest ratings. Um, so shout out to everybody. I love the opportunity. I feel like me and Maddie was definitely bitch a natural bitch. Um, and I had a really good time. And then that, and then and then at that show, everything went left. Girl, I forgot what had happened downstairs in the basement. Girl, and it was about to be a fight. And then Mama D was fucked up. Girl, and she ended up giving the whole cue and what you call a story about he's not good for you and leave him. And girl, that broke Q down and we had to be there for her. It was it was big. I remember it like it was just it was big. It used to go, it used to go down. It used to go down. And then and then so I mean, fight. Who was gonna fight? They did I, fight. I don't remember nobody for the fight. I don't remember somebody that. was for the fight. Remember, because they had, Maddie was like, she put everybody out in her basement. I don't remember that. Something had something. Because somebody was arguing. I don't know if it was you arguing with somebody. Girl, it was wasn't me. Oh! Yes. yes. Who Who was I going back and forth you was with? Going back and forth from the from the thing to the... You was going back and forth. Busy! Girl, it, was, it was busy! busy. It was busy. Bitch! Yeah, and he was like, yo, beat your ass. Yeah. Bitch! And I was not backing down from her. And you was not backing down. It was back and forth from the audience to... To the Bitch! Oh my God, girl, I forgot about that! I don't forget nothing. Bitch, you don't. I don't know what the fuck... So, was, was it over Q? It was over Q. Was it over Q? It was over Q. And I remember me and Busy going back and forth. Like, Busy said like something. Doing, you felt like you was doing too much. And then, girl, you started going back and forth. And, girl, you got up. And then he was trying to come closer to you. And you and that that's the all of it that I wanted on Chasing Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, because no camera was on me. And, you know, like, on camera, camera girl, I'm the boy Maddie, next door. We watching y'all go through all that <laughs> in the audience. Oh my god, girl, I forgot about this. Me and Busy ain't like each other for a long time. For a long time. What? Are you sure it was busy? We it are we was, sure? I, I, I think it, it was busy. busy. It was busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember when Q found out about it, he was like, he was trying to get on me, and I was like, bitch. First of all, you wasn't there. But he attacked and, you first. He was being slick with you first, so you only rebuttal. Right. Um. Damn, bitch. I forgot about that. And then I remember we went upstairs, and Q. I remember Mama D was drunk. And she was, she was talking. He kept on saying, he's not good for you. I know you're going through something in life, and he's not the one. And girl, whatever that was going through was already popping. He was breaking down. Bitch. And then, remember, I ain't going to say what happened, but remember that like that same week, that's when all that shit happened. That's where when you was on no motherfucking Q, bitch. And I had to go to the motherfucking um, um, Marquette girl, follow her until 5 o'clock in the morning, sit in the car with Q, girl, drive all the way to College Park to her house, stayed outside to see what boy who she was going with. I'm a ride or die friend. See, I'm not one of those friends that's going to leave you. Go all the way to <laughs> College Park. I'm on the phone the whole time with Oliver. We over there. Girl, I'm telling Q to get out the car, bitch. Go do your big one, girl. Get out the car <laughs> and go have a conversation with him while he get out in the bitch house. Girl, I got pissed off. I said, girl, get your ass back in this car. Get your ass back in this car. <laughs> I, block, I block busy car. <laughs> this is this is what it should have been on chasing Atlanta, bitch. <laughs> Cause it used to go the fuck down. Yeah, they, don't, they don't want the truth. Oh my god, it used to go down. 
Okay, but what I remember was, okay, so you and I got back friends, right? Mm-hmm. I got you, bitch, because you know, you like to you you like to take your credit. I'm gonna get my credit too, bitch. You would have never been over there at Maddie House on the Queen Supreme Court if I ain't come bam on your motherfucking door and wake your ass up because everybody that know Rick Rose Gardini knows she sleep during the day. The during the daytime is like 2 a.m. to her. And I'm bamming on this bitch though, because she already done told me how much she wanted to be on the bench. And I'm like, well, bitch, like, bitch, you need to get up. Like, we need to get there. Got her there. We back friends. Bitch, remember I did your lyric video off my broken ass computer. Shout out the motherfucking the greatest um greater heights. Greater heights, bitch. Yeah, but don't forget every time I ask you to do something, I have to beg you and drag you and keep begging you because you never want to do nothing for me. Girl, even when I just asked you recently for a flyer, girl, it was, it's been hard, girl. But when them hoes call you, you be quick to run around and jump. <laughs> I've all, it's all, that's always been our relationship. Me hounding you to do stuff because I know you can do it and you always give me the short end of the stick. I don't feel... That's not my experience. That's mine. I feel like if I don't move fast for you or like fast how you want me to move, then it's it's a they problem. fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, about. that's what it gives. I, yeah. I, don't know, that's, I, I believe that. And so... Because I we, feel like we girlfriends, but so I should be able to get a girlfriend pass, the VIP pass, if that makes sense. And with you, there is no VIP passes. Everybody, no, th- there is you. VIP pass, but it's like if I'm currently in the middle of doing something, and you know, at that point, bitch, I had went from not doing nothing to bitch, I'm working full time now. Like, bitch, I'm yeah, full we're not gonna fl- talk about how you how um why you get why you blew up, girl. You stole my computer charger because you needed an extra. Fast charger for your laptop. Girl, I didn't steal your charger. Did I yes, steal did. it? Remember, I left it at your house, girl. You would not give it back. Oh, yes. Yes, I would not give it back. You're absolutely right. But I didn't steal. Is that stealing? Yeah, that's stealing. Oh, my bad. You want it back? Girl, why? Because you got five now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go so, what I, so, this is what I remember. I remember you at the time. And it's it's really beautiful to see like everything that you've done now as as salacious and polarizing as it is. I remember back in 2019 was really the very beginning of at least what I remember you talking about. You wanted to be like this blogger who like you you wanted to do what Kaya did with the Queen Supreme Court, but you wanted to take it to like a deeper level. Like you was like, mm-hmm. bitch, I really wanna, I wanna, I wanna, yeah. I wanna go there. Everything he's doing mm-hmm. on Vigo, bitch, back in 2019, he talked about it. And mm-hmm. so um this is when at the time like madison was like a bit like a like a hot topic on on facebook hey, mother of one on on youtube and facebook and all that other shit and i can't remember exactly who the person was that you wanted to interview i can't remember who it so was yes madison was getting into it with this lady some lady um she was getting into it with I remember, I remember, I remember. Remember she had that book in up in like Virginia with the Queen Supreme Court with the mm-hmm. with the with the lesbian promoter lady. Mm-hmm. And Funky Dani, I think did Funky Dani even go with them? I think he I did. Think so. I think so. And something happened with something dealing with the money or some bullshit. Something dealing with the money and the bullshit. And it was like a big thing online between Madison and the promoter lady. I think Dineva had got in it some type of way. I don't mm-hmm. remember. And you was gonna interview the lady. And I remember that was my big brain. And I remember we were sitting on the phone just like this. And you was like, girl, I'm gonna tell you something. And I don't give a fuck if you tell them, but I'm finna interview the lady. And I wanted you to edit my videos and stuff for me to make them look professional. How you do the the tweaks on mix and all that bullshit. And girl, your loyalty was with motherfucking T.S. Madison and Funky Doniva. Again, girl, another stab in the back. You literally, even though I said, girl, go tell them, you literally got off the phone with me and went to go tell (laughs) them. It told them. It told them. In my brain, I was like, when he said he don't care if I tell him, so shit. At that time, you're the most educated motherfucking bitch I know, but you be acting like you so fucking stupid. But you know, but you know, fucking, I didn't even say the same thing. He be like, bitch, you so smart, but you dumb as fuck. And I mean, it's it's he don't say dumb as fuck. You 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 know how to mind fuck people. So you be playing that little like you dumb and you don't know what's going on. Uh, You do every time you do that laughing thing. That's you fake acting dumb. When no, I would circle t- around these bitches with your intellect and your and your vocabulary. Don't play. Okay, here's the thing. Honestly, I would love to take all that credit. I would honestly love to take all that credit, but I honestly feel like y'all have given me too much credit. Like I'm good, but I ain't that good. No, sister, you that good. I've seen you, but I'm not that good. Like I'm just not. Like I don't lie well. Like I really don't. 
And mm-hmm. honestly, when I'm holding back something, that's when I start the stuttering and the stammering because I'm trying to figure out how to get past this. And that's why sometimes I'd rather just not say nothing or I'll just try to figure it out the best way to say it because I don't lie well. And so mm-hmm. I'm just like, well, bitch, if I'm, if I'm caught, bitch, I'm just going to say, yeah, I did it. And it wasn't so much of me... In hindsight, me now, I wouldn't have said shit. Like, I just would have, bitch, that's between them. They'll figure that shit out, you know? Whenever he do it, he'll do it, and they'll call him and address him. I just, I think at the time, because I knew about it, I didn't want it to be a thing of Oliver knew about this and ain't say nothing to us. Because I knew from talking to Madison and Funky, I even on the other end, how aggravated they were with this woman. And it was sickening. They were going back and forth on social media. Bitch, she was laying their motherfucking asses out. I was the first bitch to motherfucking about to do an interview. Girl, she didn't, nobody gave her a platform to tell her voice. Maddie was not right in the situation. And girl, I was going to dissect the situation and get the shenots. Now that I, I don't know. I, and, I'm no, and I don't know. Maddie. Maddie called me and cussed my motherfucking ass. I said, "Bitch, we from Florida, hoe. You trying to go against me, bitch? You in this? You on bitch, this bitch motherfucking side? Like, are you are you the needs or are you the enemy? Like, hoe? Which one is it? And I had to think about this lady digging me an opportunity when her show was definitely big. I was the first bitch to get on there, bitch. From my standpoint of being a personality to do her Queen Supreme Court, so girl, I shut it down. But I really wanted it. That would have been my big. That to me, that would have been my big. My big brain, if that makes sense. And I fucked it up. And you fucked it up. Because I went back and told. Because no shade, she's the trans version of what she do, but I'm the butch queen version of what she do. And so that's put that put us back in a place of fuck this hoe. <laughs> In hindsight, me now would never say anything. I'd be like, well, girl, just listen. I don't know shit. Leave me out of it. And if, if they would have called me, listen, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't want no parts. Leave me the fuck out of it. Um, but back then, I honestly felt like I was doing the right but thing. But they didn't call you, sister. You called them. What you mean? You said leave you out of it, girl. You called them. They weren't supposed no, to No, I'm saying like if they would have, because at the time I was all I was doing their content like full time. So it would have came up in conversation. Like it would have came up. My lesson is, girl, never call you to give you the tease. Oh, now you can. I don't get like I'm staying out of it. I'm girl, I don't want mm-mm. girl. I mean, I got my own shit to worry about. I can't get involved in nobody else. I just um, hated how because they were paying you, you were so loyal to them. When in reality, girl, we were spending time together. I'll come at your house. Mm-hmm. I was sleep on the couch. We, you would. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was you like, would. Girl, like, how are you loyal to them? You know what I'm saying? And that's why, that's what the couch is to come in at. Girl, you always put your money first for, before a relationship. And that's not good because sometimes the relationship is going to bring the money in. Mm-hmm. And that, I honestly do apologize. Like, I, I really do apologize. Because even hearing you saying saying it like that, I'm like, you know what? He's he's absolutely right. Like, we did spend a lot of time together. Even though I was working with them, me and Gardini was together a whole like, lot. We'll be doing graphics, and we'll be, I'll be on the phone with you the whole time mm-hmm. while you're doing graphics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do apologize for that. You know, like, in hindsight, me now, I would never do that. Like, I would never, ever, 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 ever do that. I was just trying to do the very best that, that I thought what to do, you know? You, like you're, I, in, you're in survival mode, so I understand you are loyal to who's loyal to you. And at the moment, your business, your brand was what you were focused on. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm not gonna let my I'm not gonna not say something to Maddie and them and girl, I don't got fired from the YMCA girl. She make I'm doing everyday things with her. She's taking me to Miami. I'm filming for her. And I got this one friend, girl, that's about to sabotage this lady, and I'm not telling her she's gonna look at me like I'm a fake bitch. And girl, she paying me. You right. You yeah, absolutely right. You have, bitch. You absolutely right. But you hit the nail on the fucking head. I understood, but it oh. did hurt. It did hurt because now it's the second time I told this bitch about my ideas and my project, and girl, she sabotages me. She done sabotaged you. Oh, girl, who was that in the background? That's my boyfriend. Oh, you got a boyfriend. Yeah, my husband. Girl, you gonna keep a man? That's one thing about it, bitch. You go, bitch. One thing about it, bitch. Bitch, bitch. You gonna keep a car, a house, and a man? Hello, girl. Girl, she'll. Where are you living right now? I live in Vegas. Girl, she'll go from Vegas to Anchorage, Alaska, and have a whole three car garage <laughs> and a man and a dog. Okay, walking around in on uh, Shenyongs and, and Fufu slippers. We have two dogs. We have two dogs. We have two dogs. Dog. <laughs> Y'all got tattoos yet? He has my name tatted. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Bitch, I know you guys. I, I know how you move, sister. I know how you move. Okay, so we at season three. We not, we not, we not friends. We on opposite couch, but you was lighting me up from, from the get. Bitch, you was letting me hold it, but you not even letting me rest. Not letting me rest at all. It was something happened when, girl, we started screaming at each other back and forth. I was on one couch. You was away from another couch. And, girl, we were literally doing, like, a screaming match. Yeah, it's like in the very, at the very, at the top. I can't go back. I can't go back and watch none of that shit because it's too mm. much for me. Um, But at the very top, we is going at it, going at it. And then we filmed the second part the second day. Mm. Um, And we, we, we kind of, we kind of make up. We're like, you, Lauren myself and Q, we all kind of just, and remember after that, we all went out to Cirque with Justin J. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And remember Justin J was like, oh my God, I like this vibe. I like this. Remember like we all had a really, really great mm -hmm. night that night after the reunion. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't last, but that night it was, it was freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, paid for, I paid for everything. You paid for everything. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay. So this is how I feel as it relates to me Lauren and Q becoming the power of three. I feel like when the three of us became like friends and we branded it as the power of three, I feel like all of y'all who was friends with us individually just assumed we were now a clique and it was fuck everybody. When we never, I felt like we never had that energy. Like we literally did one live together where we was all three of us together and then everybody just hated us. And to be quite honest, I it personally, fake. it was fake. No, no, it was very genuine. Like it was very genuine. You know what I'm saying, even though the way y'all branded it, it gave fake. You get what I'm saying? In reality, girl, half of the things that we know that we have lived together on the back end, mm -mm. Lauren doesn't know. Mm -mm. You get what I'm saying? So mm -mm. how are y'all the power of three? Yeah, don't put your head down. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, I, I want to make sure we talk about the same. You talking about? You talking about bitch? That phone call, bitch. Mm -mm, I ain't touching that. Yeah, we ain't talking about that. I'm not. Oh, gonna, no, I'm not. Oh, gonna, no, I ain't touching that. Uh -uh. I'm, not that I'm not that angry. I'm but not. it was that phone call. Now I'm gonna skirt around this because I, I can't. I'm. I would never do that. But it was that phone call. That phone call that you got right. Mm -hmm. That and you called me, mm -hmm. and you called me, and you said, "Sister, I don't know what to do with this." Mm -hmm. because you had been given a lot of information and you was like, sister, I do not know what to do to this. And you called me and you told me I got another phone call that same summer. And see, I just need to stop answering my fucking phone about not only her, but Q. Cause remember, I, and I mean, this, this plays out in season four, but remember the the whole thing about Q being homeless and all this other stuff was going on between season three and season four and where you and him have fell out. Oh, bitch, don't mute now. I don't remember us falling out. Bitch, y'all fell out. I was in New York. I remember y'all fell out. Do I need to say it? Yeah, go ahead. Bitch, y'all fell out because he had hired you to help him move into an apartment and you wasn't... It was a discrepancy with that. Oh, I wasn't moving quick enough. But mind you, he lied. I got him a this. I did a CPN, try to move into the oh, apartment. God, he, got a, he got approved. In the midst of him having approved, they didn't have all the money to motherfucking move in. And I had to deal with, with him having a roommate. He worried about the roommate, trying to see can he get his half from the roommate and all this other bullshit. And that pissed me off. So that's where we 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 went part of the ways. And so I did my part. I don't want to say the blogger's name. Please don't say his name. Yeah, I did but, my part. But remember that information had got to a blogger who then mm -hmm. called a member of production who then called me. So I was like, fuck, like all I this shit. Yes. And so I called someone who I was dating at the time who was who knew Q and I was like, listen, this is what's going on. I was coming, I was going to the man in confidence. Like, this is what these people are saying about my friends who I'm around all the time. You being older than all of us, what should I do? He was staying at my house. He was staying at your house. He was staying at everybody's house. Sister. Okay. And so I call, I called the, call the guy and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, I feel like I need to do something because this information is very hot. What? Huh? 
Just a word. Nothing. You know. You know. I'm always trying to pull you back. You know. No, I'm gonna try. We are. No, I'm not. I'm not there. But I'm. But we got to talk about it, bitch. We yeah. Got to talk about these people in these days. A lot of times, people don't feel as if that you were there for them. Bitches be forgetting what you do for them. You never supposed to remind. You never supposed to go and boast about what you did for somebody because it's gonna show that you're not genuine. But sometimes hoes forgetting. You have to remind a bitch. Oh, you did what by yourself? You did who by yourself? All through the mental health breaks and stuff, them breakdowns and stuff like that, them suicidal ideations, girl. We weren't there for you. We weren't talking you off the ledge on the motherfucking phone, falling asleep with you. We weren't there for you. See, hoes be forgetting. And I'm like a ghost from the past, bitch. I'm going to remind you. Who are you talking about? Q. Oh, my God. We both was on the phone three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. Power three, my ass. And so I segue to say I remember that phone conversation and me calling the guy to like honestly get advice because I'm like, I feel like this information is so much that if I don't say something, like this could really harm somebody, but I really don't want to be the person to break up the scene and be like, well, this person calling this, this like, I ain't want to be in that position, but I'm like, this is whatever, whatever. And the guy went back and told Q everything I told him. And then here we go. Season four conflict, all of it. Q not talking no more. Anyways. Um, okay. So you and I, basically we make up at the end of season three, right? What happened after that sister? I really don't, you kind of remind me. I don't remember. I think we just parted ways. We just parted we ways, went, right? You ended up going back to chasing. I ended up going to go do my own thing. We just never seen each other or even talked like that. And then you um, moved. I ended up moving. I always looked at you on social media. Um, you was always doing your shit. I mean, that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. I don't feel like we really had a dynamic or that conversation. I think one of them day, one of them years, we ended up do, talking about it and sat on the phone and laughed about it and then I went through, through um, memory lane. And then we became good. Um... But I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like our friendship definitely went sour because I know you. You be busy, but girl, you don't be busy. And you be fake act like you so busy. And girl, sometimes I be want to call you and you want to shoot, shoot me off the phone because you got so much in line. And it's always a deadline. You always like to use a deadline. Oh, it's a deadline. It's a deadline. Oh, I can sit on the phone with you like I used to when you was making graphics. I can sit on the phone with you, girl, while you sit up all night, girl, making tea and all that other bullshit, girl. <laughs> trying, to, trying to edit, trying to edit videos, girl. I know when you, I know when a bitch don't want, you know what I'm saying? Want to make time for you, so that used to piss me off. So I just stopped calling. You know, I think for me, what made and plus me... I ain't like your relationship. When you got a boyfriend, you really started acting funny. You know, I'm so used to a single Oliver. So when, and then remember when you had moved that nigga in and you was in the bathroom and um um taking a shit, girl. I mean, and I was talking to you. And I said, girl, you did what? You moved him into your house. You did say that. You did. Girl, she, she ain't paying no bills. Girl, you did. He was in the bed asleep. You did. You did. You did. Mm -hmm. You did. OK. Because I was gagging. Bitch, how you don't work all this hard, girl, get get fired, start making money, girl, you buy your stuff, making ends meet, girl, redoing Uber, um, Uber Eats, girl, just to be able to, and then you moving a bitch in. Girl, how dare you? And you at your peak at your career. No, I was definitely not at my peak. No, you were getting there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You were getting there. So it was like, girl, what? You did it, what? I and think. what are you doing, sister? I you think. Know, he got a job. He's going to work. Yeah, I mean, okay, he, girl. he did have and a job. That word to you was, girl, it's giving, he's giving, it's giving, he's the opportunist looking for an opportunity. That's, that's why I remember telling you in the bathroom. You did. Um, I was young. You know, I was young. I was young. Girl, I keep saying in hindsight, girl, I was from Morehouse. Girl, stop with the young shit. But people you have to, educated. but people have to understand. And my mom, I, my, I, we give you more credit. It I takes my mom. Y'all give, credit give, credit give me so much stuff. credit. It takes yeah. my mom to explain. My mom said, yes, the boy is smart, but I sheltered him. Like, I sheltered him. He wasn't out in the streets playing basketball on the streets. The boy was in math on the math team preparing for algebra tests. And the boy was traveling to the state to talk in speech things. And he was in student government doing car washes and cystic fibrosis walks and talking in front of the student body or at church singing in the choir and, and, and preaching on you Sunday. Like, that's the shit I was doing. I didn't get the life experience that I got once I got 
to Atlanta on my own and I started doing stuff like chasing Atlanta and now I'm around other young people and stuff like that. That comes from a different background than I do. I didn't. These are things that were very foreign to me. So as I'm in my early stages on chasing Atlanta, bitch, I'm really still in my early stages of becoming an adult. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so in hindsight, now that I've experienced life and I've experienced the ramifications of some of the poor choices I've made. Now in 2024, I can say, bitch, I would never move a man in into my fucking house. Bitch, we not moving in together nowhere unless we moving into a new place together. And bitch, I'm still not letting my old shit go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, no nigga, you need, to be, you, you need to be making six figures too. You know what I'm saying? What's your credit doing? Do you have health care? Do you have a life plan? What's, where are your children at? Are you taking care of your children? Are you going to church? What are your degrees? How much debt you got? You know what I'm saying? These, now, these are all the questions. I, what's your health? Do you have a primary care physician? Mm -hmm. These are all the questions I get into now that I wasn't. I was at the time that I started dating that boy girl. I was like 24, bitch. I'm young. Now I'm I'm coming into money. I'm making way more money than what I was. Bitch, I'm on. I'm known on YouTube. People stop me. You know, at this point, I'm not thinking I need a man that can do do all this, all this. I just need the man. You know, so mm -hmm. fuck everything else. I would never do that again, ever in life, ever, like ever, ever in life. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anything we didn't touch on tonight, girl? Um, that was the cute thing. Okay, so okay, we, we're back to the cute situation. So you and Q fall out. Why did you and Q fall out? What happened? I don't want to say. I want I want to talk about it. Out of respect for him and Lauren, because I've never really spoken publicly about. Well, did y'all fall out? Because I remember this big old thing about Wi-Fi phones and off. He ended up coming to stay the night at your house or some shit like that. And no, we got past all that. Like all, we, we got past all that. Um. It was around in the mix because that's public. Like you know, it was around. It was it was regarding in the mix. Well, it wasn't in the mix because it was it was because Q and Lauren didn't come that it became in the mix. It was always supposed to be a chasing. I think what we said, chasing reunited, chasing Atlanta mm -hmm. reunited, it was something like that, or the retreat or something. I can't. Want, did she want to get paid or something? They were getting paid. Everybody involved, bitch. You signed the contracts. You signed the contract to be a host for the show. And I mean, for the trip, and you signed a contract to be a cast member. Everybody was getting paid, and that was something that I went to Andario and said, "No, I, I really want to pay these people." No, everybody, everybody was getting paid, and everybody had the opportunity to make money. Something that was honestly unprecedented on any show on Chasing Reality. I went to bat for all the talent and said, "Even if even if the money comes out of my pocket, out of my percentage, I want everybody involved to get something from it." Because I'm, bitch, we asking a lot. We asking y'all to promote a trip. We asking y'all to book a flight. We asking y'all if y'all don't, you know, meet the quota to get y'all rooms paid for and, you know, to get paid. Because you remember the contract to be a host on a trip. It was money to be a host, was it not? Mm -hmm. It was money to be a member, a part of the show if you did X, Y, and Z. So no, it was never it was never over whether I was paying him or not. I gladly wanted to pay everybody. Shit, I was making money. Shit, everybody else gets something. So too. I'm kind of I'm, not me not knowing and me not being around. I'm trying to figure out why did you guys like not be friends? It that whole situation just became a lot. Um, and I just made it probably was really. I would say I probably made the, the decision to not pursue, you know? So what did she do? What did, what did she do to hurt your feelings? I don't want to say. Did, was okay. talking about you on the back end with Lauren? And Lauren came and told you? I don't want to say. Just out of respect. Because I've never I've never publicly talked about them, and I don't want to make it a thing. And I want to talk about it. I, mean, I know you want to talk about it. Only. I want to know. You don't have to tell me exactly what it was, but give me like a scenario of what exactly transpired. It don't have to be in detail. Let's just say we couldn't agree on some things. And, and then that, that makes and that makes the friendship get cut off. That's we couldn't we couldn't it. agree on some things. And then there was just there was there was some there was a thing that happened that I didn't like. And I was like, there's no like my issue with a lot of y'all be y'all everybody want to be a pastor and an evangelist when it becomes 
Let's mm. get all of it together. Like, mm. let's get all of it together. But when everybody does the same thing that y'all want to get all of it together for, everybody wants all the grace and understanding and explanation. So, so he was being a cloud chaser. Though. No, no. I just, I just made a decision. You know, that whole situation had just became unnecessarily too much. Like the whole situation just became too much. But honestly, I'm like, bitch. And I'm, I'm just gonna be very frank. Bitch, ain't nowhere reality show ever in history filmed outside of the country. Like, bitch, we doing grand girl shit. So why is everybody treating the situation like it's just a fucking pickle leg goulash chip bag off the fucking corner? Like, girl, this is highbrow shit. Oh, okay, so they didn't take your shit seriously. In reality, everybody felt like they were too busy. Bitches were already being And the thing is, busy. and the thing is, and the thing is that I think people forget. I was originally given money by somebody that worked at Viacom, who was over loving hip hop, who does like a big TV person that said, Oliver, we believe in you. We, we're going to support you in creating a show. I could have took the money and did my own thing, but I brought the money back and said, well, I'm going to bring all my friends and, and all this other stuff. It was a lot of money. The trip was a lot of money. Paying for cameras and all this shit was a lot of money. And I'm just like, I just didn't appreciate how a lot of people was just treating us like this is just we just filming chasing Atlanta with you know the androids and shit like this. Like, no bitch. People are looking at us to potentially pick this up and do something more with this. Like, why are we just sitting around half asking this when we've all had ample enough time to do what we all agreed and said that we were gonna do? And this I'm not directing this to anybody, I'm talking about on a on a full spectrum. You know what I think it is? I think it's because it was your vision and your and it was your passion in the vision. So they're not going to feel how you feel. They're not going to put as much as energy. Well, then don't energy. commit to it. Don't waste my time. Do you feel like you're being a diva? I feel like if I'm not doing something your way, Oliver will always be a diva. But one thing about it is, and Daria has never complained about how I ran in the mix with Twix. The people, the other producers, the executive producers that were above me, the, the adult people... I CC'd and copied everybody on every email. I recorded every um every meeting, everything. Nobody ever complained about how I ran in the mix with Twix. Nobody. Even the cast. They the people on the cast didn't start complaining until the shit, until they got caught up in drama and didn't want to take responsibility. But nobody ever complained about it. And so I feel like in the dynamic where people don't want to take responsibility and people also, I also feel like people, I also feel like people have struggled with the trajectory I've had on Chasing Reality and outside of Chasing Reality and what I've been able to do within Chasing Reality. And people don't, I feel, I feel like people felt uncomfortable answering to me especially when they were in the wrong, like they didn't want to be reprimanded or they didn't want to be corrected or they didn't want to have a conversation with me. And then that's when it became, I'm a bully, I'm a diva. But it's like when I was, when I had the same verbiage and attitude protecting you and your best interest, it was Oliver's amazing, you know? So yeah. Um, you could be a bully and you could be a diva. I understand that perspective and that experience. Um, so I could see that. Um, but I don't think that's something to stop a friendship over. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I'm 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 not saying everything that happened. Um, just again out of respect. So your feelings was hurt because your feelings get hurt. Oh, baby. my feelings were oh over in the mix with Twigs. I was crushed. I was so dis. I was I was shocked. I was disappointed. I was emotional. I was so hurt at the fact that an opportunity that I did not have to share and that I have spent so much time in trying to involve everyone. Like you said earlier, a bitch who tried to pull the taser out of me, like I'm trying to help every, I'm trying to help all of us get us to the next level because everybody complains about being on YouTube. This is an opportunity for us to get the fuck off YouTube doing our own, doing, doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. And then it just becomes, we don't give a fuck. People treating it any type of way. Oh, I was butt hurt. Oh, I was hurt. That was honestly the beginning. Well, no, that wasn't the beginning, but that was like a crucial, that was a pivotal moment for me in my whole chase and reality experience. I was very hurt by that. But you're still cool with Lauren. No, I don't talk to her either. What? 
but you knew she was going through. She was going through China. She was going to go move back. She was getting her surgery. She was healing. All, all that was completed. So you feel like she didn't take it serious either? Mm -mm. Well, girl, you talk to me, and I ain't show up. Yeah, but you, you, you weren't an EP on it. You know, like mm -hmm. me, Lord, and, and, I, and, I, and I asked to be an EP. That's why I, I don't show up. I, I don't remember that. I don't I remember did. you asking to be I an did. EP. I, I did. don't remember that. I'm telling you, I did. I have text messages. I don't remember that. I did. Okay, I, I just said I don't remember it. Okay, yeah. damn. Yeah. And you gave them hoes an opportunity. So mind you, God literally broke my leg. <laughs> fuck you, fuck the power of three, and fuck that motherfucking show, bitch. And oh my it. God. Um, mm. we have been honestly well, you know what? I think people also forget. People also forget that a power of three show had been announced as early as 2019. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember that little promo little thing that came out with all of us in those three grids? Which again? Girl, some hold on, 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 hold on. Before, before you, before you get into that, which again was Andario offering me my own spinoff after season three, and I was like, I don't think I'm ready to do my own show. Like, I don't think I can do it. Can I do a show with Lauren and Q? And he was like, Well, come up with an idea, and da 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 da. And I got with Lauren and Q. We came up with an idea, presented it to the people. I created a little promo, and girl, we. Girl, we was gonna be in production when I got back from touring that 2019. Something about my God, don't never play about me. You Girl, here she go. Something about my God, don't never. What? When you good? Jesus. Something about my God, don't never play about me. Girl, all of the things that you did, bitch, for the power of three. Girl, and the way you made me feel normally. Girl, it's so, it's so, it's so refreshing to see how, bitch. <laughs> How everything turned out. You get what I'm saying? How everything turned out. Because you thought it was your ace kaboom. You thought it was your rider. No, I did. Ride no, you know I, I honestly, I, I honestly did. The whole showed you who the fuck they were, bitch. They showed you who they were from season one, which you were never there. They showing you who the fuck they is in season two, that you were never there. You get what I'm saying? So now you get to see the true motherfucking people for who they really are. Um, they're all about self. They don't give a fuck. They want to rise to the occasions. So in reality, they're the real clout chasing ass bitches. I won't say all that. I said it. I know you did. I'm just saying, I'm not going to say all that. I'm just going to say, you know. No, because they always say you the clout chaser. So in reality, everybody's going to put themselves first. Remember how you did me for the money, bitch, and you didn't care about what I wanted to do? Mm -hmm. Now you're in a position where, bitch, it's about you. And if you wanted to make sure that you elevate and bitches are not taking you seriously because they want to go do what they need to do for the money. Okay. I hear you. She signed her deal in China. She ended up leaving everything, her mama, everybody. A bitch had a whole restaurant. Left that just to go to China to open up another mm -hmm. hair, 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 hair bender. You know what I'm saying? So she put she put herself first. Q, he's on, he's feeling like he the he the producer of the of the year. Bitch, he in LA. He going from here to here. He got shows at the show, and Dario giving him another spin-off girl. She over there with her little mic and her earphones. Girl, she feeling it. You know what I'm saying? She feel like she the it thing. So your show is, doesn't matter to her, but in reality, you really wanted that that organ that 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 click back of friends to be able to promote each other's success and yes. the party again. And guess yes. what? The whole show sell. The whole show sell. I ain't gonna say all that. I'm just gonna say I'm it just the show sell. I understand. I, I, was, I was like, oh girl, the show's here. Where's Lauren? Oh, she in China. Well, girl, where's Q? He online talking about producing another show. And you there by yourself with Twix in the mix. And no shade, shout out to the people that's on there because the show definitely made it, it did it did wonderful. It was the but team. Girl, the cast wasn't the cast. You had to you had to do like in Dario. You had to scrape up what you can, girl. Bring my best friend here. Let me bring fish here. Let me bring, you know what I'm saying, and still make the show. The show has to go on. Cause I had already paid the camera people. Like I had already paid if I had paid the camera people to come. I would have canceled the whole thing. I wouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. But I had already spent already spent thousands of dollars already. Thousands of dollars. Thousands. Thousands of dollars. And promo already. videos and promo flyers for everybody. And you put that I that I created there. myself. I had created commercials for chase. You know, like bitch, I'm really working. Um, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say everything you said. I'll just say it just came to a point in the friendship where I just decided, you know, I don't need to 
it's not in my best interest to continue, you know, this. I think I'm okay with leaving it where it is. I feel like this is the most peaceful thing, you know, for everybody. And I wish them well. You know, I would never talk bad about them or like I would never talk about in detail what happened. You know, I don't think no I don't think nobody would want me to. Why you know? not? That's why I hate about you. Like I feel like if that girl is an authentic moment, it's about vulnerability. And girl, you always want to hide shit. Girl, what is there to hide? It's not if that it happened, they hurt your feelings. <sighs> what the fuck happened? Because and it's it's a, it's the same way that people I feel like people feel about me and T. S. Madison. Like people want me to say all these things. And for me, if I've had a real life relationship with you. If I've had like real life experiences, like I've had, like as you said, bitch, I've had some experiences with Q, you know, like I've had like pivotal experiences with him. You know, we've fallen out. We've, we've talked, we've done it. We've connected on so many levels. I, even Lauren, like me and Lauren were really like, I feel like we were really, really friends. And there were things that I knew. There were things that I was privy to. There were things that I, that I had seen that you know, that only I feel like friends and family would do. So even though we're no longer in that space, I just don't feel right coming to the public and having that discourse as public fodder. You know, like I'm A-OK with keeping those things personal and hidden because I just wouldn't want, to me, I would be a fake ass bitch to now no longer be friends with someone and now get in the public and be airing all my grievances about, oh, this is what happened. This is this, this is this. You know, like I'm totally OK with saying like, you know, we're the place that the public saw us once. No, we're no longer there. I don't really care to go into detail because I don't want to now involve the public in something that was private. And now it's all these but different you're, nuances. But you're, but you're a public, but you're a public figure. Yeah, but that don't mean I got to share every fucking thing. Um, I told you, I told I, you this before. Yeah, but it's about being trans. Like, uh, being, I'm just a transparent bitch. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be honest with you. I feel like sugarcoating shit make you look like a fake asshole, and I'm not sugarcoating nothing. Please don't.